Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackin' It, Take a Bad Hit, Take a Bad Hit, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for the Moments. That was like Odin's foot, right? Odin the Allfather, my pet guinea pig. Right? Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on the Marvel Legends 2008 San Diego Comic Con exclusive Savage Land box set. Oh my god, I have wanted this set for so long. Big thanks. I always say big thanks. Why do I always say big thanks? But I really mean it. Thank you so much, Sean Long, man. Now, I was at Project Display. This is one of the things that he gave me for helping him clean up his place and organize his place and everything. And man, thank you so much, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really love this box set. I am so happy with it. I've wanted it for a long time. It has not disappointed me. I really like it a lot. But before I really get into the figures, let's show off the packaging. As you guys know, I usually don't like to show the packaging in videos, but I love this artwork right here. Frank Cho, man. Frank Cho, everybody. One of my favorite comic book artists. The way he draws women, I mean, it's just impeccable. Look how fucking fine this Shauna is right there. The thicknesses, the bulging boobies and everything. And, you know, Zabu is the cat right here. Looks pretty cool. And then there's Kesar and Shauna. And then what's really cool is you can open this up. And it has a little Velcro thingy on the side right here and right here. And then there's more artwork in the background. And you can see that's Hasbro's old school Marvel Legends. And then you get this description right here in the back, which I'm not going to read. Actually, why not? Stranded in the Savage Land as a young boy, Kazar first encountered Zabu when the saber-toothed tiger rescued him from an attack by the vicious man-ape tribe. Usually intelligent for the species, Zabu took the boy under his protection and raised him as his own into a man feared and respected across the primitive land they call home. When Shauna came to the Savage Land, drawn by its pure and primitive beauty, she and Kazar first became a team and eventually married and then had sex. Together with Zabu, they protect the savage land from outsiders that would exploit its vast resources and from the corrupting influence of modern technology. Kind of made up the thing about the sex, but you know, we assume, right? And then there's the figures in the back right there. And then side packaging, not a whole lot going on. First off, I gotta say, as much as I hate this period of Marvel Legends, I think this was actually the worst time for Marvel Legends in its history. I think they really pulled through on this box set, and I think Zabu is a bit of a disappointment overall, but I still really like the figure. This is the first fully articulated animal figure that we've really gotten. I mean, we had Howard the Duck from Toy Biz, and we had the Falcon that came with Falcon, but aside from that... Um, you know, this is the first time we actually get a fully articulated animal. I still like it. It's just extremely cartoony looking. Like, if you put Kazar next to him, you know, it, they look out of place. Kazar is very realistic and everything, and then Zabu right here is just very, very cartoony. You have these strange spikes coming out, you know, throughout the whole thing. It looks like it was drawn by, like, Bruce Timm or something like that. It's just, it doesn't really match Marvel Legends. You can see his paws underneath right there. You have more of these spikes going on over here. I still like the head sculpt for this guy though. It does look cool. I like the color variation inside his mouth. You can see that. There's pinks and then there's red. So at least we have that. And the teeth came out looking pretty cool. So the sculpt on the face and I like how the nose looks and the eyes look cool. But you know the overall look of it. You know these spiky fur things. Like if you look at the Masters of the Universe Battle Cat, that looks like a real damn cat the way they sculpted the fur on that. And at least they gave him shading. It's kind of hard to tell with my lighting, but you could see some shading like right here. See it especially on the back. So it's a very light shading. You can see how it's darker like that. There's his little tail. It's kind of weird. So Zabu's articulation is pretty cool. It's, it's alright. Uh, let's start from the back right over here. There's a Zabu butt. His tail is on a ball joint so you can rotate it back and forth, up and down just a little bit, and you can turn it all the way upside down if you wish, you can do that. He has really nice upper thigh articulation right here, so his legs can move all the way back and forward, forward about that much, well, depending on the legs, so you can get him doing like this, if you really wanted to have him like an arresting thing, I guess he could do that, that's pretty neat. And the th upper thighs can move all the way outward like that, so he's taking a dump. I don't know, it looks funny. Spread it, Eagle, Sabertooth Tiger. Like a shoulder joint on a Marvel Legend figure. It's not too bad. He has a ball jointed 
uh, whatever this is, like an ankle thingy that comes around sideways right here, and you can move it all the way backwards, all the way forwards. He has a similar joint right here for his paw foot, so you can do that right there, and side to side. He has a torso joint, which doesn't really work too well. You can't really rotate it side to side, and it doesn't really move up and down as much as I'd like it to. Well, I guess that's not too bad. It moves down more so than it can move up, I guess, so it has a decent range of motion to it. Actually, yeah, this part isn't too bad. It's this piece right here that sucks so same articulation over here for the front legs it's the same exact thing and then this piece right here doesn't move like you well yeah okay so you can r rotate it sideways like that which is actually pretty cool and this is kind of like a flappy piece of plastic right here you can see how that's moving so you can rotate it sideways like so so that's not terrible but you can't move it up and down I've played with a Battle Cat figure before, and I know that you can move this joint right here on Battle Cat up and down. His head is on a swivel that just moves side to side, and then he does have the jaw articulation. So, yeah, decent range of articulation on this figure. I do like it. Even though I don't like the overall design, I still really like this figure. I like this Kazar figure. Not a bad head sculpt. A lot of people have popped this head off and put it on their Sentry figure, which I think is a good idea. I don't have to worry about that anymore because we have a, a new one coming out. Who knows we're going to get that. But yeah, he has some nice paint detailing in his blonde hair right there. So you can see in the creases how it gets like a, like a darker brownish kind of color. That looks pretty cool. A gripe of mine that I have both with Kazar and Shauna is that they're is some inconsistency between the flesh tones like you can see his face and his chest are two different colors that's kind of weird but I guess most people are kind of like that but anyway they did use the shield agent body so you can see clothes right there uh, kind of stretching between his muscles you know it doesn't really look right uh, but I wish there was a way that they could have touched that up, but you know what? Overall, it doesn't make me hate the figure. Nice paint detailing on his wrist over there. There's his loincloth. Um, nice texturing on the loincloth. I like the paint detail on the top part of it. He has this blade right here that you cannot remove, so that kind of sucks. I hate the weapons that aren't removable. He does have another blade all the way down here that you can remove, and there's his sword that fits nicely in his hand. Or it's, it's a knife, not a... Not a sword, but there is actual paint detailing on the handle of that as well. Nice silver paint. Again, with the stretching of the skin over his muscles, looks kind of weird. But overall, I do like how it looks. There's another weapon. It's like a bone-handled knife. And there's his man patas, which actually came out a little small. You look at it from far away, and he's got his feet pointing inward. But his feet do look a little small for him. No peg holes at the bottom of his feet, by the way. And he does have a peg hole on his back because it is that Punisher mold. So, Kazar's articulation, he's always kind of just looking straight forward. He can't move up at all, but he can move down just a little bit. He moves side to side just fine. He has ball jointed shoulders, move forward. He has bi bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He has rotation right here at the forearm, no wrist articulation. He has an ab crunch that moves forward and back. He has a nice waist joint, and his uh, little loincloth thing doesn't really hinder it at all, even though you can feel some resistance but it's not bad. He has ball jointed hips right here, he has an upper thigh swivel, he has double jointed knees, calf rotation, and he does have an ankle pivot on one foot, which is nice. Damn, his feet look so small. But he does have an ankle pivot over here, just not over here. So it's kind of weird, but at least it's on one foot. I can't see how they made it on one foot and not the other. And both of his feet move up and down. And you can see how his knife goes nicely right in there, the sheath. Now, Kazar does have a decent amount of shading in him. It's very, very subtle. And same thing with Shauna as well. Her shading is just very, very subtle in the flesh tone. But it is there. So, yeah. Uh, before we get into her, let's talk about her weapons real quick. We have some slight paint detailing in the handle of her big knife right here. Nice silver paint going on. Came out just a little on the wobbly side. But it's okay. It only fits in her right hand. And here's her big-ass shotgun. And I really like the paint detail right here that they have on the straps. Number two and that looks pretty damn good to me and it only fits into her left hand but I like this old school rifle thingy or shotgun and then I don't know why this came in the packaging Sh Sean gave this to me mitten package by the way and this tip right here is just totally you know off center like they added the silver right there paint detailing right there so that looks good okay so back to the fine ass figure 
I really like how this figure looks. That face sculpt is very nice. I like the pink lipstick. I like how her eyes look. I like the hair waving to the side like that. I think that's very cool. Uh, similar kind of defect we had on Kazar. There's like these weird splotches going on in the hair. You you kind of see those weird dots on her hair right there at that bottom. There's that little gap right there and there's these weird dots. But overall I do like the paint detail on her hair. I think that looks very nice. And I think the figure o overall is just very sexy. She just can't stand for shit. It's really frustrating. And damn, she is sexy, man. Look at those bazungas. Jeez. She just are huge, man. Like her little uh, thong that she's got right there. They painted her fingernails white. I think that's nice. I like the subtle shading going throughout the figure. I think that looks very, very cool. And oh yeah, there we go. Bare patas. Bare patas. But the thing is that her, you know, her big toe is kind of on the long side, but oh well. Still very sexy. Still like it. Came out better than that damn Poison Ivy. That is for damn sure. Ooh yeah, I said it, DC. I said it. Marvel did better on their paint applications than you motherfuckers, man. Ooh. That is a sexy ass. I mean, I have never seen such a sexy figure before in my life. This is just uh, amazing. Again, she is a bitch to stand, though. And she doesn't have any pole pegs at the bottom of her feet, too. But just very, very nice. Very sexy figure, man. Hair looks really cool. I dig it. I, I, I dig this figure a lot. I mean, come on. Not bad, dude. I mean, I think he did a great job. This is the sexiest figure ever of all time. I think I think they did a good job. And I think Dwight Stahl is actually really responsible for this. I, I don't know for sure, but I have to say that I, I, I'm under the belief that Dwight Stahl is responsible for this, so I must commend him for this work. I, I think this is absolutely fantastic, because that is one thing that Hasbro has given us uh, is really, really good molds for women. Her head is on a ball joint, so it can move side to side just fine. She could look down a little bit. She can't move up, but this head does pop off. So if you want to put another figure's head on there, you can. And she does have shoulder articulation that moves outward, moves forward. No bicep swivel. She does have elbow that moves like that, and it rotates side to side. She has hands that move side to side and up and down. She has a diaphragm joint that... I wish it could move a little bit farther back, but it, it can move, and it moves forward a decent amount, and it rotates side to side, and her head just came off. Damn it. I wish they reused this head a lot more. I don't know what the problem is. I really wish they took advantage of this head and gave it to more figures. But anyway, now her thigh articulation. Now, this is something that's actually really cool, is that her, her thigh, t this isn't my favorite thigh articulation on a figure, to be honest with you, but you can rotate stuff around so that it looks alright, so you can move all the way outward like that, and you can't move forward, and I hate that joint where it makes it kick out sideways, but for this figure, I like it, and I'm going to say that because I don't want to see all kinds of plastic stuff around this area if it's a almost butt naked figure, you know what I mean? So, it really hides well for this figure, I think it really work so you know you move outward like that and the joints are hidden on the upper thigh then you move forward all the way like this and the joints are still very well hidden on the upper thigh so I think that's cool and even though the the musculature right here might be a little off it doesn't look bad in my opinion it really doesn't now her knees just bend 90 degree like that they move side to side her ankles move down they move up side to side and no ankle pivot and that's really why she can't stand up very well and damn nice looking patas not bad not bad on the feet her big toe is just really long right there that's the only thing kinda of takes away the sex appeal Dwight's obviously not a foot guy closer look at the butt cheeks and the texturing and paint detail on her thong thingy well it's technically not a thong but yep you can get right in there yeah oh yeah look good yeah look good belly button sexy nice so that's my review you guys big thanks again to Sean Long thank you so much bro I really hope you guys liked my review if you can get your hands on this set it costs about a hundred bucks so it's not a cheap set but I think it's totally worth it uh, well I didn't pay for it but I, I worked for it you know what I mean so anyway thanks so much again Sean and um, I hope you guys liked my review and I will catch you later peace Happy Meal!
feels 